What's up, Black Star Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jared. Y'all, today we're going to be doing a video from Kendra G's show. Now, I just want to clear up a particular point that I made in the last video I did. And that was about the light skinned chick that was saying that she wants a man making 100K to balance her energy. In that video, I've been getting a lot of comments saying that I said 150 uh, pounds. She weighs 150 pounds. I just want to clarify what I meant because I might have said 150 pounds, but I actually meant she's like 250. So I do apologize for that misconception in that video. Um, but today we're going to be looking at another video from Kendra G. And apparently this woman is a mother of four. And her last baby daddy was married. Listen to this shit. Are you ready? Oh, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, oh. stop moving, boo. I was trying to go get some light. Oh, okay, are you getting? Okay, yeah, yeah, get some light if you don't have light. That is true. All right. Okay. And now show me and, and keep the camera steady. Can you, can you see me? Yeah, but keep the camera steady. Okay. <laughs> Is your first I time here? Sit in the yes, this is my first time in here. Okay, what is your, is your name? Ashley, what's your name? No, I, I'm April. Oh, April. Okay, yes. April, where are you calling me from, baby? I'm in Canton, Ohio. Okay, can you, you guys stop moving, love? Ohio, yes. and put the phone out. How old are you? I am 31. Are oh, you look younger than 31? Okay, don't have your hair. <laughs> No, she fucking don't. She look older than 31. Uh, okay, there we go. You said you get that a lot? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you look younger than 31. That's 31, a goddamn lie. What do you do for a living? Well, right now, I'm unemployed, but I am a hairstylist. I do natural braiding and shampoo, and I do, like, you know, the natural hair care. I just got my natural hair. She's unemployed, but she does hair. So she's unemployed. She don't work. Okay. Got Cleo from Set It Off Braids under here. He's got a wash today, child. So you're not, so are you, so you want to say you're unemployed or do you want to say you're a hairstylist? Well, I'm a hairstylist. I'm just not in no shop or anything anymore. So, I mean, I'll do it outside of my home now. Okay. All right, Bree. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put a hairstylist. Yeah. You're making money, right? Yes, okay. for sure. Mm -hmm. You have any children? Yes, I got four. You have four kids? How old are your four kids? One is 10. My second one is six. My third one is three. And my fourth is one. Are they all by the same man? No. How many men? I got three baby dads. Do the three-year-old and the one-year-old have the same father? Yeah. Okay. These hoes ain't worth a fuck. Why are you not with him? Oh, well, he was living like a double life, I should say. He's married. Did you know he was married? Not in the beginning, no. When did you find out he was, did you have, did you know before you had your three-year-old he was married? Yeah, Um. he didn't tell me he was married until like, I want to say like six months to a year into the relationship. Okay. Did you have any kids at that moment? Yeah, the first two. By no, by him. Oh no, 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 no. So why'd you have kids by him once you learned he was married? Because I was like, well, the marriage was like, uh, I'm married, but my we d like separated. You know, like I'm legally married, but I'm separated. Wait, 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 wait. So you found out before you had your two kids by him. You found out before you had your two kids by him, and now you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> you found out that this man was married, legally married, before you had your first child with this man, and still had ch uh, two kids by him. Oh, this one's going to be good. And I thought that they were like really separated, but that wasn't the case. 
So are they back together? Huh? Are they back together? Yeah. So he never left after. Uh, now we know that, no. So much for woman for women's intuition. So when you had when did you find that out? Because you also have a one year old too, right? Mm -hmm. That well, when I found that out, I was like, you know, one to maybe to see the first one. We didn't really plan the baby. That one just came in, and you know, in the mix. But that second one, that one came because we actually planned because we were, he were, he was still, you know, doing his one, two was lying and saying that he going to be done. Like we were going through a lot of, like, I'm done with her. No, I'm not. And going back and forth. So baby two just came out of like nowhere. No, baby two came out of y'all fucking and y'all was fucking raw and you got pregnant, bitch. It didn't come out of nowhere. Stop fucking lying here. We going to keep it a buck. You was fucking raw. Both times it got pregnant. Stop. You had two kids before you had this man's two kids. You know how you know how fucking raw gets you pregnant. Stop it. We ain't gonna sit here and treat you like a fucking four year old child. No. You decided that you wanted to get wanted to get pregnant by this man without a commitment. You deserve all the hell you catching. So do you guys co parent well? Yeah. We got a good, great relationship. Great. Do you know his wife? Yeah, now I do. Mm -hmm. So y'all all, I mean, y'all, do y'all spend like Thanksgiving and stuff together? Yeah, some, somewhat, yeah. Y'all spend Thanksgiving together. This nigga then doggone found a dumbass hoe in a damn, his wife is dumb too. So he got a baby mama and he got a damn wife. Oh, buddy, buddy. And y'all having Thanksgiving together. <sighs> this nigga that had two kids on this woman. Boy, <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Do they have any kids together? <laughs> yeah. They wow, y'all became a big family. Yeah. I'm not, listen, listen. I, I'm just throwing it out there. If y'all get along so well, y'all don't want to do a poly thing? Oh, no, 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 no. You was in Because I, I didn't sign up for that. I only liked him for him. I didn't. She came later down the line. Like, I have to, you know, get to know her and stuff. Then we got cool. Because we got to get cool for the baby so he can have a good relationship with the kids and stuff. So I really wasn't involved to be with her or do anything with her. Okay. Okay. If I ever became Muslim, if I ever became Muslim, I would only want two wives. I couldn't deal with multiple women. And we would have to live in the same household in a big ass mansion. I'm sorry. I would not be dealing with two women outside of that. One woman living with me and the other one living outside of that. And then on top of that, this woman got two other kids by two other men. Nah, bro. I couldn't put myself in a position like that. Never mind. This, this is right here, man. And I'm and I'm speaking hypothetically here. This this right the situation like this would be a this would be something this would be hell on wheels. Man, ain't no way in the hell you can I, I can't even deal with this shit, man. Oh man. Yeah. Okay, so now we're moving forward. So you know some men are going to say something about you having two kids under the age of five. You got a three-year-old and a one-year-old. Mm -hmm. It is by your married ex. Was he your boyfriend, I guess? Mm -hmm. So yep. what, what would you say to the men that might, I mean, you have four kids, but the youngest, three and one, what would you say to the man that's concerned? Um, well, to not be concerned. You don't have to worry about nothing. I don't dibble and dabble. I'm not like... Uh, the baby mom that wants to 
you know, go back and nothing like that. Like when we figured it out and noticed that we're not going to be together, we just ended that and left it alone. Ma'am, you are four by three. You have four kids under the age of 11. That man that you're trying to find now is walking into hell. You have two under the age of five, four under the age of ten, of, under the age of eleven or ten. Why on earth would a man want to deal with you? You've shown that you don't make any good fucking decisions. You are short. You are the short bus. Ma'am, you are four by three, four kids by three different niggas, and you ain't ever in your life made a good fucking decision, including the hair, the wig on your head, and that scarf around your head, that big ass forehead of yours. Like seriously, for women that have a big ass forehead like that, y'all gotta have, y'all. I'm expecting y'all to have a big ass brain and to be smarter than this. This woman got a big ass forehead and dumb. Jesus Murphy. Now we just good co parenting. Um, we just get along real good. I get along with the wife. You know, I'm learning the kids, his kids, the wife. How many kids, kids he has with his wife? Um, I believe about, I don't know. I want to say like one or two that's like with each other, but they have like kids outside of each other. But they, you know, I guess when you come married, you could join as one. Well. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. So April, Ohio, 31. She's unemployed, but is a hairstylist. Mom to four. Have you ever been married? No. No. Okay. And what's your zodiac sign? Uh, Virgo. All right. Virgo. All right, April, boo. April, Virgo. Um... She's 31, lives in Ohio, a hairstylist. She says he's a hairstylist and she's unemployed. But she's a mom of four kids by three men, never married. What kind of man are you looking for, baby? Bring your head up a little bit. A uh, nice, um, tall, handsome, um, I want to say like brown skin, chocolate. Um, I mean, I don't really discriminate as long as, you know, I really ain't never messed with nobody white or nothing like that. But, you know, if they came my way, maybe. Bitch, the only thing you gonna get uh, comparable to a white man is a pa is a fucking stick figure driven on drawn on white paper. That's the only thing. That's the equivalent that you can get to a white man. A stick figure, a black ass stick figure drawn on a white piece of paper. That's the only thing you gonna get. And as far as a black man, the only thing you gonna get is a damn piece of charcoal. In a damn uh in a grill. That's the only thing you gonna get. You are cooked. Ma'am, you are done. Ain't nobody dealing with your stupid ass, your damn decisions, and that big ass forehead of yours. I'm sorry, ain't nobody doing that. Talking about I ain't ever dealt with a white man. Bitch, you ain't ever gonna deal with a white man. If a, if a white dude come along and date you, that man gonna be using your ass for the, for the little bit of change your ass get at work. That's the only thing he gonna use you for. Queen of Kings, that bitch, yeah, that's what that might that's what that white man doing with her, with her, using her dumb ass for the money. Talking about she is she she ex scripting this man over here, and this woman over here got multiple kids, and then he over here took this woman under his wing and she still disrespect him, bitch, please. Ain't nobody dealing with that shit. But a nice, handsome man, you know, that has goals, that has morals, that love his parents, um, that love God. Um, he got to be a family man. I don't mind him having his own kids. Um, when hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, let me rewind this back a little bit. Hold up. Fight or nothing like that, but, you know, if they came my way, maybe. But a nice, handsome man, you know, that has goals, that has morals goals and morals so this man has to have goals and morals where were your morals at when you was messing around with a damn married woman husband and even knew that she was fucking around with a married, hus a married woman's husband 
and uh, got pregnant by him twice. What was your morals at when that happened? Matter of fact, where are your go? Where were your where are your goals at when it comes to actually marrying before you caring? Those goals were out the window when you was over there laying on your back getting piped down at night. Stop it. You need help. Take your ass to therapy. Ain't nobody damn deal with your ass. Know your four kids. That love his parents. Um, that love God. Um, he got to be a family man. I don't mind him having his own kids. Um, wait a minute. Let me say that over. I don't mind him having kids that are maybe under the age of 13. <laughs> and okay, then... Stay in the um, camera. Stay in the camera. No, okay. oh, so you don't want a man with older kids. Right. I mean, they could be older if they're going to be grown. But like, you know, like the pre-teenagers and all of that, it's like, it's just hard to, you know, step in because, you know, the pre-teens are already set in their ways. So they might be like, like uh uh-uh, you ain't dating my dad or, you know, or they, you know, they might be some with their parents, with their mom, and they probably don't like the situation. It's just pre-teens a little harder to get along with. Okay, okay. So you basically, you started off describing the most desired man on this show, tall, dark, and handsome. Mm-hmm. Yes. Got to have a job. Um, no, you ain't got to um, have a job. Well, I, I didn't have a job because I was, I just pushed out some babies, okay? I'm going to say. Bitch, you had a child a year ago. You had a child a year ago. What the fuck are you talking about? You just put out, pushed out them babies. Them babies that your ass decided to have. So whose fault is that? Whose fault is that? Yours, maybe? Talk about I just put out, I just pushed out a baby. Uh, yeah, it's called being a mom. You decide to lay on your back. You gotta, gotta deal with the consequences. I'm sorry. What the fuck you want us to do? You want us to feel sorry for you? I'm going to play the saddest song on the world's smallest violin and say fuck you at the same damn time. Yeah. You better be glad I ain't got that goddamn. Uh, yeah, I got to get my damn. I got to get the damn. Uh, the damn stream deck. I seriously got to get that shit. I'm tired of this. Hey, no, mom, I don't believe in like giving my kids off to daycare and none of that. Um, so I stayed home for the first years or two. So after my, my last daughter, she's about to be two. So I'll be back out there. So oh, now, do the men, do the, are the children's dads giving you money? Is it child support? Is that how you're paying the bills? No. Like, I, I'm a, I got my little side hustles and stuff. Um, they, I mean, my last baby dad, the one that got the two by, he does a lot for him. So I don't really got them on child support or anything because I'm not really the type to, you know, like really be after them for their money and stuff. Oh, I just. So you don't have any of these men on child support? Okay, so the last child's father, they he does a lot for them. Okay, granted, he doesn't need to be on child support. But the first two ain't on child support. So not only are you coming in with four kids, you're coming up you're coming in with four um four bills. So you're not offering anything but expecting the most. A man has to so basically you want a man to come in and pay for your damn children. Pay their way through life, in a sense. Be on the hook for uh for um financially. You're looking for a man to pay, ma'am. How in the fuck does that make sense? I swear, y'all want y'all want y'all want men to them take your kids. Keyword is your kids underneath his wing. And financially support them. Meanwhile, them little bad bastards don't give a damn about that man. And we're literally spitting that man's face every time they see him. And be like, fuck you, Nick." And then y'all wonder why, mother... Then y'all wonder why uh, men are saying, fuck you to baby mamas. Granted, you got some of the dudes out here that a dog gonna date you. Keyword is date. But they won't marry you. They're smashed. See, see, we see men know that single uh, single moms are freaks. Why you think he, why why you got four kids and you and you think I'm not supposed to think you're a freak? Yeah, we know that. That whole bullshit live talking about I want to be celebrating to marriage. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll see how that works. 
she got to keep diving in this is because you first started off saying you're unemployed. So now we know mm -hmm. more to the story. How are you paying the bills? Is it the way you do hair? Yeah. I do hair. I got good clientele. You know, I do a, I do a lot of other stuff. I did have jobs. It's not like I never had anything. I do have good savings and stuff. So when I do take these breaks of not working and stuff, I do have like you know plan A, B, and C. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. You already did the look. So you got plan A. Ask my baby daddy for money. Plan B. Um, go out there and do hair. Plan C. Come on, Kendra G show to find another man. Plan A and B failed, so she's going with Plan C. Ironic, huh? Exactly. You, I said, what kind of man you're looking for, and you started off with the looks. The next question is, does the man have to look a certain way? Like, um, I guess he got to be a little. He got to be a little thick, like I said, a little tall. He can be a little chunky. I like him big, too. Uh, I'm assuming when your baby daddy's, this, uh, did they look like this? Were they tall and dark? <laughs> yeah. My first one, he a little light-skinned pretty boy, but he was tall. Uh, my second one was uh, dark-skinned, chunky, little, little chubby-dubby. And then my third one, he was like a little bodybuilder. But you know, big and tall, muscular, like. Okay. Now let's get to the money question. Do the man got? Does the man have to make a certain amount of money? No. You don't care about that. Okay. Uh, as long as he, long as he, I, I'm not into all that. Long as he into, um, you know, he's financially stable. I ain't looking for a rich nigga. That's all just about all of that. Like I would love that, of course, because who want a broke nigga? You know what I mean? But it's not. Nothing like, oh, he got to have everything. As long as he's financially stable, he got, you know, goals with his money and stuff, we're straight. Okay. I got a feeling she capping on that. He does have to make a certain amount of money. You've got four kids, you're unemployed, and you're saying you have a good clientele. Meanwhile, I'm looking at you, you're looking dusty as hell. Maybe I'm wrong, but I've got a feeling that she going, she's over here trying not to make herself sound even worse. But uh, I'm guessing she's she, if she would answer that question responsibly and actually uh, honestly, uh, she probably would have said 80K or 100K. Talk about I'm not into all that. Yeah, you trying to make it seem like you're not. But then again, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Oh, Lord. I'm not ready for that. <laughs> I got it. For it. Yeah, I'm just looking crazy. Call me a guard. Can you even see? Okay. The only thing we see is your big ass head. We gotta see your legs though. We okay. Your ass. We gotta see your legs. Y'all don't even have to show me your butt. You can just show me the face. I mean, the the front. Y'all volunteer to show me. Can you see me now? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we get like the body in doses. Half of the body. <laughs> we got you, girl. Doses. Half of the Okay. She got a damn BBL. Yeah, yeah we get like Y'all volunteer to show me. Can you see me now? Okay. Like, look at this. Just show me the Look at her face. thighs. I mean, the, the front. Look at her thighs. Look at this. She got skinny ass thighs. Can you see me now? Okay. Then look at that. She got a fucking BBL. Yeah, yeah we get like. Bruh, ain't no getting. Ain't. Like I said, bad decisions. All she does is make bad decisions. The body in doses. Half of the body. <laughs> we got you, girl. All right, April. When was your last yeah. relationship? That was my last relationship, my last baby dad. And when did that end officially? Mm -hmm. About a year ago, a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago. When mm -hmm. you had the baby? Yeah. So Y'all broke up once you had the baby? Yeah, we were like going towards our ending our relationship while, you know, I was pregnant.
So y'all ended the relationship right after you had the child, or right before you had the child. I swear the ignorance of these people, these women, is it, it baffles me. It shouldn't it shouldn't surprise me. But just the different levels of stupid shit that comes out of their mouth, it just it, it gets me. So by the time I had the baby, it was about done. Okay. You don't have to answer. I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? That was the last one. I'm scared now because I know I'm gonna maybe pop out with or something. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're fertile. Yes. <laughs> I'm not on nothing. I don't do birth control or none of that right now. So. Well, you can wear condoms, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. My last, I really just want something that's going to stick this okay. time. Now, um, I don't want nothing. I don't. That's why I'm scared now because I don't. That was the last one. I'm scared now because I know I'm gonna. That was the last one. I'm scared now because I know I'm gonna maybe pop out with something. She said. That was the last one. I'm scared now because I know I'm gonna maybe pop out with something. So she just smashed a couple months, a couple weeks ago. That's why she's saying it. So she might be pregnant now because she ain't on birth control. <sighs> Baby mama five by four. Oh, uh, you're fertile. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not on nothing. I don't do birth control or none of that right now. So. Well, you can wear condoms, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. My last, I really just want something that's going to stick this okay. time. Now, um, three flaws you have to work on. Three flaws. Mm. Well, um, choosing better men, I guess. Um, I choosing better men, ma'am. You've had three Men that you've chosen and you've picked bad and had four kids by them. You should have learned from the first child you had. Then the second child you should have definitely learned. Now that you have four kids by three different men. Now you've magically learned the fucking lesson. Just like that story where there was a person that was stranded in the ocean. And kept asking God to send them help. And God kept sending them help. And they kept rejecting the help. And then they drowned and then went to heaven. And asked God, why, did not, why didn't you help me? Well, you stupid motherfucker. I sent you multiple day. I've sent you multiple, uh, multiple signs of help. You refused them. The fuck? I guess, you know, like looking... Looking, you know, further into these men, um, investigating more, uh, I guess, uh, uh, being naive, mm -hmm. uh, flaws, uh, I, don't, I don't know, and just, you know, putting my trust into the wrong people in all relationships. Wait, hello? Wait, hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Um, okay. So that was three, right? Excuse me. That was three flaws. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, why do you think you're single? You said, why do I think I'm single? Yes. Um. Well, right now, I believe I'm single because you know, like you said, people are a little probably intimidated because I have four children. No, no, no. People are not intimidated of you having four children. People are disgusted that you have four children, well, that you have four children by three different men. And you're now trying to find this, quote unquote, last, um, last good guy that's on the damn market. Meanwhile, you're bringing nothing but problems.
So men aren't intimidated by your four kids. They're they're turned off because you shown that you made terrible decisions by the four children that you've had. Um, I'm a good girl at that. You call that intimidation so that they're intimidated? What did you say? You said that you think the men are intimidated because you have four kids? Mm hmm Okay, define that. Because, you know, like, um, because, you know, when you get with somebody, they, they, it's going to scare them off. Like, sometimes I believe they scare them off because you got, you got four, you got four four kids and then they want to know what happened or am I just like a baby mom or you know just like a girl that just be pushing out people's kids and you know it's like a lot they would have to get to know me in order to really understand my story and not really judge because oh she got four kids no job right now like what the heck is she doing but in reality that's not me I, I'm not I'm just currently not working because I'm a stay on mom and I make sure kids are straight before I get back out there. So I just take breaks. So it's just the fact of of a guy really getting to know getting to know me and my children and getting to know my story. That's why I'm not so like, you know, eager to really judge a guy when he has kids and stuff because, you know, we all got our past or we got issues and stuff. So I try not to be judgmental. So I don't want a man to be super judgmental coming for me like or she's 31, four kids, and we're, what, she ain't got no man, or, you know, she ain't never been married. What is she doing? But I wasn't the girl to do no abortions. I wasn't that girl that thought about anything like that. Any mistakes I did, I just chopped that up and took care of my responsibility. Okay. How are you, how are you, how do you take a break? Because that's what it honestly is. How do you take a break when you have four mouths to feed other than yours? With the price of baby formula, with the price of food now, how do you just take a break from your responsibilities of working and providing for your house and home? Because we all know that you doing hair ain't paying up the bills, really. You just doing hair? That ain't paying the bills. They ain't paying all the bills. Fair enough. Now, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, Cause I'm a sweetheart. I'm a people's person. I'm a family woman. Um, I love God. You know, I'm driven. I'm outspoken. Um, anything I can put my mind to, I can do. Um, I'm, I'm real good with kids, you know, so he ain't got to worry about that part. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I have my own everything, so. She has her own everything. All right, so let's do it. We got April. Okay, a couple things. You're 31. What's the age range you want to date? What's my age what? What's the age range you want to date? That, that's funny you said that because my, my baby dads are older, so. <laughs> I know a lot of people from here are probably going to be like, she got old man as baby dads. But... How old are your baby dads? <laughs> I don't know, but they ages out. But uh, my third one, the one I was speaking of, he's probably like in his later 50s, like 56, 7, 8. And you're 31, so you was with him. He was in his 50s when you were in your 20s. Mm -hmm. My second one, and he's like in his um, early 40s, 41, 2, 3, I believe. Okay. And then my third one, he's, well, my first one, he's 32. So he's about the one that's around my age. He's, okay. He's on your age. So what is the age range you want to date now? Um, From 30 to about 45. 30 to 45. Mm -hmm. And should he be in Ohio? No. No. I prefer not no more no Ohioans, no more. You want, I'm, you want, I'm really you from Chicago, more? Illinois. You don't want to say it again? I said I'm really from Chicago, Illinois. I don't want no more Canton folks. Chicago, Illinois. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to, so you don't want a man in Ohio no more? Mm. Are you willing to travel? Yeah. I would love to travel, yeah. I'm a city girl, so yeah, I would love to travel, okay. get out there. All right. 
how are you going to travel with all them kids? And don't say the man should pay for the trip. No, how's she going to travel? Oh God! Let me let me finish. Let me let this shit finish out. I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired of this shit. Let's do it. April 31, Virgo, Ohio. She's a hair stylist, um, working from home. Mom to four kids by three men. Um, she'll date 30 to 45. You said black men, and you said you're open to white men. Yeah, I'm o I'm open to other race. I'm just oh, saying shit. I ain't never did it, but it okay. may be if one come my way. Okay. Mm. Are you on the Kendra G Singles dating app? Um, I don't think right. so. Yeah, um, mm. she's beyond delusional. Ain't no man gonna put up with her. Neither black nor white, nor Hispanic. No man's gonna put up with this. Wow. Why is a man going to work all his life to provide for a broad that can't keep her fucking legs closed? I'm sorry. It 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 baffles me to the point of no... It, it baffles the hell out of me. Because it's like, these type of women right here are the very ones that be getting mad when men don't date single moms. It's like, why didn't you keep your legs closed? It... it it honestly is it's honestly embarrassing to me. You want somebody to choose you, but yet you can't even choose to keep your damn legs closed for long enough to damn actually choose a man that's actually valuable or worth it. They had a nerd come on a dating show to fucking ask for him. Yeah, let me go to bed because now I'm about to start getting raw. Um, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you guys for listening, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Thank you guys for listening. Bye, guys. Thank you.